Market Tony 911. Hello. Please get here fast. Hello. What's your address? Where are you? Look, we held hostage. We've been tied against the pole with duct tape for hours. We beat up against the pole. Please get here fast. I'm going to send some help over there, okay? A lot of help, okay? Who, is, who else is there with you? Me, my friend is still tied to the pole. They let Your me friend go. is still tied to a pole? Um, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. We're going to get you some help. So your friend is still tied to yes. a pole. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, all right. Please. Uh, well, ma'am, while I'm talking to you, my partner's getting the police over there, okay? Okay, I don't want to stay on the phone. They're going to kill me if they come through the door. Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm going to go, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to hang up with you then. Okay. Bye. All right, bye. Uh, recently, a young woman in my county was sadistically humiliated, terrorized, and assaulted by two men. She wanted a chance to tell her story, but she'd been marginalized by the system before because she had a rough life. Um, and she had made some, some bad decisions along the way. She was afraid that no one would listen to her. Fortunately, her case was investigated by a dedicated police officer who was committed to seeking justice, justice without regard of whether a victim lives in the mainstream or in the margins of our community. When the case got to my office, my victim witness coordinator worked closely with the young woman, treating her with the respect and concern a crime victim is entitled to, but often doesn't always get. I was able to help prepare her to testify for trial, and she testified with confidence because of the support she received from the police and my office. We were able to make the jury see what we saw, a person who had been brutally victimized and who deserved to be heard in spite of her past. I'm pleased to say the jury convicted the perpetrators and the judge sentenced them to lengthy terms in prison. Our community is a safer place because the system worked to give a voice to someone who too easily could have been disregarded and overlooked. My name's Matt Wheezy, and that's why I'm a prosecutor.